All right. Started the wrong stream. Oops. That was uh, not intended. Okay, so let's go ahead and share this real quick. <clears throat> and then we can get going. Okay. I'm always logged into my wrong Twitter account. This is what happens when you have like three Twitter accounts. Okay. Here we go. All right. Should be good. Let's do this. <clears throat> All right, so we are back playing some Supermarket Simulator. I almost contemplated playing Cooking Simulator. Uh, I re-downloaded it just to kind of prep myself because I've been thinking about trying it again. Although I know it's not really a relevant game or popular anymore. But I figured I'd give it a shot. Hey, Satsu, your stream is down. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Are we are we good? Are we are we good? Oh no, we're good. Okay. Sorry, I had to. I got a message saying that my stream wasn't working, but I had opened it up and I shut it back down because um, I didn't have the right information in there. I had preset all my info to start the new stream and it wasn't correct, so I had to. I had to fix it. So that's why it went up and then went right back down. So we should be good now, though. Let me pop out this. Since I'm over here, might as well pop out the Twitch chat separately, just in case something happens over here. Alright. And the YouTube stream looks good, so... Alright. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again. We are back playing some a Supermarket Simulator. I got a couple new mods that I've been messing around with. And we're going to do a bit of a remodel today, because we have the money for an expansion so uh, we're going to go ahead and get this next expansion here and now we got all the room should be uh should be interesting so i'm thinking i'm gonna make this entire back area like this whole back wall, just like freezers and, or just like refrigerators. And, um, put like the freezer section, like maybe right in front of it. And then we'll just do kind of shelves throughout the store. And I think I'm going to have the cash registers up here now. I think I'm going to put the cash registers like up right here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do or exactly how it's going to work out, but we're going to figure it out. And, uh, it's going to be amazing whatever it is I end up doing so or at least that's what I tell myself so one of the uh, one of the mods that I got was a uh, unrestricted uh, placement so you can put things anywhere you want without the game telling you no which has been really nice for a couple reasons One, because it actually fixes an unintended problem that was happening before that I did not expect it to fix, but it does. 
which is that issue where if you grab a box that's on the shelf and you you can't put it down for some reason like the game tells you that you're not allowed to put it down so you have to like figure out somewhere to put it yeah it fixes that issue uh but besides that it also just makes it significantly easier to make your store look a bit more how you want it to look so now they can't tell you no you can put it wherever you want and you can just kind of deal with whatever consequences come from your crazy designs i'm not going to do anything too crazy though i'll make sure that uh we're not doing anything that'll be game breaking i guess i should have put this on that end huh this doesn't matter ultimately what i'm doing right here is not it's not that deep uh but I do, I like when products that are similar are by each other. It's just a aesthetically pleasing thing that is not completely necessary, but I much prefer it to not being that way. Okay. So yeah, that looks a lot, a lot nicer to me. All right, we're gonna grab all the soda coolers and get these all in one location. They were already looking pretty good over there, so. Also too, I got some coolers with like water in them and stuff too, but those have been, those have been kinda mixed up. I need to rectify that situation, and I will at some point. See, like, over here I got soda with the eggs. That shouldn't be like that. Those those need to get out of there. I could put the other cheeses in here. But all these, yeah, all these are good. All the sodas and then the waters and the beers. Although, this case has sushi in it. I think I'm going to get another fridge just for the sushi so I can put the big ones and then have another one specifically for the small ones and then I'll get a new fridge for the beers too but we're not gonna do that right this second for now we're gonna focus on what we're doing here <clears throat> so this might take a while guys I'm not gonna lie there might not be a whole bunch of uh, ringing up customers and actual customers going around shopping because I've been wanting to do this remodel for a minute. And if I want to do it right, it, it might take me a little bit. So bear with me. But that just means we got more time to talk shit. So anything you guys want to talk about or anything like that, I will be paying attention to the chat while I'm doing this. You guys want to share any... uh? Supermarket simulator stories if you guys have still been playing this game I'd like to know how your game sessions are going Especially people who aren't playing with mods Because I've kind of I've kind of spoiled myself now. So now I'm just like well This is how I'll be playing the game from now on at least until you know until further notice so stuff like this you couldn't do before right like, these could never be that close to each other because it wouldn't let you. But now, you can. And it's a lot better and easier that you can do that now. Just makes my life a little easier. I want to give this a little room. I want people to at least be able to get through here if needed. There's not any real reason to, but still kind of want it. Uh, we can actually leave a little bit of a gap there like it don't necessarily have to be that far away yeah that's enough room I think people can comfortably rock, walk through there there we go yeah this is gonna be the big freezer refrigerator section there's always sections like this in grocery stores speaking of which my wife was uh she's actually thinking about doing instacart 
which means she's going to have a reason to go to the grocery store every day. Because she was wondering if, if, if that should be something she should do. And I told her, like, yeah, man, I mean, I think you'd like it. Because she likes grocery shopping. But I'm like, imagine doing it now, but it's not costing you anything. Like, it's not your money. You're using other people's money and buying what they want. And then you just bring it to them. You get that. You get to scratch that itch of shopping. Even though my wife is not really one of those I love shopping kind of people. She's not really big into, you know, that whole thing. Uh, so it looks like I'm going to have to make this very tedious for myself. And uh, I kind of don't want to do it, but I, I think I'm going to because it's going to have to be done. It's going to be one of them situations, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, shit. God damn it. You fuck. I forgot to... I forgot to fire my, uh... Yeah, you, you don't ever... Whenever you're moving product around or doing stuff, don't ever, ever leave those dudes unattended. Or let them just kind of do their thing, because they'll... You're taking shit off the shelf, and they'll come right behind you and put it back on the shelf, and it's... It's annoying. That was my fault, though. I can't complain about it. That was all my fault. I forgot that I didn't do that, so... But we're good now. See, now it's just like, oh, but these are brown, too, so I want these to be... No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not going to do this to myself. We're going to just, we're not going to get super meticulous about this or we'll be here all day. Can't complain, but still going to. Oh, of course. Of course. Compla complaining is a survival technique, man. How many more serial killers we'd have if people couldn't complain? The world would be in disarray. Oh my god. Okay. These waters should be able to fit in here, which is perfect. So now... I am going to be a little asinine about this one, even though this is so stupid and I shouldn't go through the extra bullshit just to do this, but I'm gonna because I got problems. What's up, Cynic? Welcome to the stream. I've been playing uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 behind the scenes, playing with the Wayfarer. The class that can basically use every anything, and that's been fun, messing around with that. I mean, it's it's heavily restricted, um, and it's not nearly as cool as, because I thought like, oh, you you have all the vocations and you can use all the classes, and I thought it would have been better like, if you if you switch classes it switched the abilities on your ability bar and you were just able to use that class uh, as is, so. But they, the way they implemented it is super shitty. So like, when you're using it, you only get to pick from three skills from like 10 different vocations, which is like fucking like 60 skills that you have access to and you can only pick three from any given of the, like all the vocations and you switch between them and you can only use those specific skills and I'm like that is the this is the shittiest way they could have done this 
Like, this is the worst implementation of, like, if I could have ever thought of, like, how would I implement this? That is absolutely the worst case scenario. Um, that said, it does level up all of your locations at once, and it is still fun. But, like, I just, I hate the way they went about it. It's just, it's really stupid. Thought I saw a mod for it that opens it up a bit. Man, if there is a mod that makes it to where like you have access to all of your skills or at least a, a decent enough portion of them, you know what I mean? Like, I think, like I said, when you switch classes, the the bar should change. It should change to whatever class, like all the skills on the bar should change to whatever class preset skills you had set up for that class. Um. But the game's not built that way. Like, it wouldn't, obviously it wouldn't work that way because that's not how the game was designed to work. So I know why it doesn't work that way. Like, I get it. The game isn't designed for it to work that way, but it should work that way. And they should have designed the game to work that way. It's just my opinion. Okay, there we go. I'm happy with that. Let's get rid of these boxes. These empty boxes. So this also fixed another issue where when you try to throw boxes, like it won't let you for some reason. Like it'll be like, you can't throw a box right here or whatever. That's also not a problem now with this new thing that I got on here. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, all these need to come off this back wall. Y'all's in the way. We're just going to put you right here. This place is going to look like a clusterfuck for a while, so bear with me. We're going to make this house a home. Not seriously? Dude, I, this is actually a meme now. This is actually a fucking meme. I don't get phone calls unless I'm streaming. What the fuck? I was joking about this, but this is becoming a problem. Okay, sorry about that. What the fuck? How is this possible, dude? How does er everybody who associates with me and has my phone number, how do they all know when I'm streaming? It's, this is like, it wasn't, it wasn't a problem before. Like, it wasn't really bothering me now. But like, now it's like, are you serious? How is it possible that I get phone calls every time I'm streaming? Nobody calls me ever throughout the day. My phone never, ever rings. <laughs> It's what the fuck, dude? This is weird. Yeah, for some reason I'm getting like a I'm getting like lag spikes whenever I uh move through the products and stuff. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. I think I saw... Him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think my... Yeah, my mom was calling me. She probably wanted to tell me Happy Easter. Oh, yeah, and we were supposed to talk about something else, but she waited too long. She was getting her hair done when I called her and she's like, I'm gonna call you as soon as I'm done. And I'm like, okay. But she waited too long. <laughs> See, Lion, Lion said, even if I had Satsu's number, I'd never call him. Yeah, nobody does. I don't ever get phone calls. I mean, my mom calls me, but like lately, the only time my phone rings is when I'm live streaming. Alright, 
we got our brewskis here that we're gonna put back inside of uh the boxes for now so the question is why why satsu why do you have to be so meticulous why do you have to go through and make sure that things are thematically put in the right place and all that good stuff like that and i get it but you know i just i gotta do it man i gotta do it i can't not do it where's the water oh yeah it's over here Thank you, monkey. Happy Easter. Oh, I see what's happening. Every time I... Oh. Oh, I see. Why is that? That's weird. So because it's seeing products through the wall, that's where the lag is? That's why the lag is happening like that? Huh. Yeah, that's weird. I'm getting like these weird lag spikes whenever I look through the wall. I mean, whenever I can see product through the other side. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, it is 1021 here now. There we go. Now we got it. Sometimes customers will get stuck at a shelf and won't leave until it's empty. Really? I've never had that happen. I've never had customers get stuck. I'll get, um, I'll get, uh, my, my restockers will get stuck in the back room and stuff. But I don't think I've ever had a customer get stuck somewhere. They got stuck at the cash register once, but that's because, like, they were standing there already, and I closed the cash register, and I think the game bugged out because they were just like, wait, I don't know what to do if the cash register closes after I've already gotten here. <laughs> so, uh, that caused a little bit of a problem. They were a little confuzzled. found out if you change a item without deleting it the tag first they get stuck more often if you change an item without deleting the tag first what yeah i've i've never i've never even heard of that like that's that is news to me yeah if that's a thing it's it's not a thing for me I never, I never, well, I hardly ever take the tag off of something before I put a new item there. I won't say I never do it, because that's a lie, but I, I barely ever do it. I've never had to do it. <coughs> we need more sushi. Sushi? It's the small ones. There we go. Man, why is it lagging so much? What the hell is going on? Hold on. Like every time I was like looking at a product, I was it was like lagging. It's not doing it now, but maybe it's only when I got a box in my hand. I think that's when it's happening. Like when I have a box in my hand and I walk past something. Well, it's not happening now, so okay. I don't know what that was about. I don't like it though. Not a fan of whatever that was. Not a fan at all. Okay. Uh, we'll go, 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 go. We're gonna go ahead and. Oh wait, to the. Oh, see. Okay. Hmm. All right. That makes sense. I think I know why that was happening now. All right. We're going to fill this one up with 
delicious sushi. Yeah, throw this box away. Move it. All right. Uh, okay. Man, this looks good. Look at that. Organization, baby. Tis the name of the game. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, what's next? Should we do, um, I guess we should do the sushi ones. I think I'll only be able to fit like three or four more of these over here. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, so I, I really been thinking about playing Cooking Simulator again, but because, man, one of the crazy things is, what is it? What's it's 2024. Like, I think five years ago. Five years ago. I did a video on cooking simulator and that video was just like five tips and tricks about cooking simulator, right? Five years ago, I made that video and I put it up. Do you know that that is one of the most viewed videos on my channel to this day? I'm still getting comments and views on that video. It has 56,000 views. And it was a one-off video I did on on Cooking Simulator on a whim. It's baffling. Like, I'm, I'm still, like, dumbfounded at that very concept. Oh, yeah. They got tons of DLC in that game. Tons of it. There's what, like, you can make, like, cookies, and I think they got one for, like, sushi and pizza and all kinds of stuff. I haven't played any of the DLCs, though. I've only played the vanilla game. Ooh, see, this, this is where things get a little, it's where things get a little, uh, hmm. I don't like that. I was hoping that these would all kind of fit perfectly here. We definitely don't want one of these situations going on because that's just awkward. What if we pulled one of these maneuvers? <laughs> no, no, that's not gonna work. I mean, I can do that now, but that's not going to, I'm not okay with that. Uh, you know what I can do? I can make just enough room by being a little crafty here. Like, it's not going to matter if these overlap just a little bit, right? We'll just, uh. Just scooch them all over just a teeny bit. Meet in the middle instead. No, I got it. I think I, I think I might be able to, might be able to finagle this a little bit. A little overlapping ain't never hurt nobody. You can't really tell. Like you can't really see it. I don't know exactly how much room I'm making doing this, but it doesn't feel like a whole lot. But we only need a little bit. We don't need a crazy amount. I probably should have started a little further down. I think I might have.
Oh no, we're good. That was perfect, actually. That was exactly what I needed. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay. That makes me happy. Whole back wall looking nice. Cool. Now we can bring our freezers over. I don't really care what order these are in or how this looks because I don't get to look in here often anyway, so. This one's not a big deal for me. These can really be kind of however. Not gonna trip on that. I might end up getting more freezers though. Cause like, I wanna get to the point to where there's enough product on the floor to where I don't have to keep so much back stock. Cause there are some items in this game there are some items in this game that you don't need to ever keep any back stock of. As long as you're keeping track of what's in the cooler, you don't ever need to actually have back stock of it. Um, <clears throat> you can just, um, you know, keep the, the shelves themselves full. So they don't have to have multiple slots in the back. They can just have one and you can just like buy one or two whenever it gets low. Because some of these have a high volume of items on the shelf themselves. Like stuff like the sushi maybe. You'll have to, you'll probably want to keep back stock of that. You'll absolutely want to keep back stock of stuff like toilet paper, potatoes, kegs, like that stuff. Uh, probably won't even need back stock of these beers. Like, I would pre prioritize just really large stuff. So the kegs, the bleach, the detergents, all that stuff I would keep back stock of. And, like, for the most part, a lot of this stuff. All the pastas, every single one of the pastas, you'll, you'll want to keep back stock of. All the flours, you'll want to keep back stock of. The bread. Uh, this milk. The coffees. Probably the chips, yeah, maybe the chips. But some of this stuff, there's so many items out here, like, you don't need to. Especially, like, some of these are restricted because I only got two rows. So, like, the rice is just these two, and this is just these two. But once I get everything, like, once everything has its own full row, then, yeah, we won't have to... We definitely won't have to deal with that stuff anymore. And that's my goal. For every single item in this store to have its own full row of items. We'll get there. That's the dream, baby. We just got to make it happen. This thing, I can just, we can just turn you around. Uh, how close do I? Yeah, that's about the same, right? 24 hour mode. Uh, yeah, I think that could be cool. It would be hard, though. It would be challenging to keep things in stock. But I wouldn't mind that, like a, a challenge mode, something that's 24 hour mode. I think that would actually be good. People can opt to play that way if they want to. More options are never a bad thing. I know some people get a little butt hurt about things being more easy or more difficult or however you want to, whatever side of the spectrum you're on. People just want things to be in whatever way that benefits their play style or the way they want to enjoy it. And I'm just like, yeah, but you're not the only one who plays and or enjoys it. There's tons of people out there who like things different than you. And they're just like, so? <laughs> Why is that my problem? 
And to be fair, it's not, but still. So it seems like whenever, whenever I grab a box off of the shelf like that, and then I push the button to auto send it back, I mess up the, I mess up the, uh, the pocket box thing. Like it doesn't work properly when you do that. That's a little bit of a problem for me, but. The solution is just to pick up some random box and it'll fix it. So if I pick this box up and put it back down, presumably I can just grab another box. And yeah, and that's how that works. So, okay, good. We understand how that functions. All right, so this is going to be a little bit of a gonna be a little bit of a situation here because I thought that I had coolers specifically for all the cheap oh wait oh we do so what the fuck is going on here what's with this when did I do this okay well we're gonna have to that's not right Interesting. When did I do this? Oh, I remember. I remember. Okay. I know what happened. Okay. Oops. That I didn't mean to do. Here we go. With more automation would make it easier. I mean, I think the automation in the game is pretty sufficient. The stalkers could be a little faster, but they, they do their job. Like, it's not like they they aren't doing their job. They could just stand to be a, a little quicker and more efficient at it. Oh, crap. I keep not doing what I'm trying to do. Okay. All right, so... We got those cheeses which means we need this cooler but we got to take this yogurt out because that that's not supposed to be there where's the other cooler with the yogurt in it i have a cooler that has yogurt in it right i definitely did at some point have a cool oh here we go oh i did this whole thing yeah i wasn't that was not, that was not a thing that I actually wanted to be. That's actually not how I wanted that to be. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna not do that. Why aren't you doing the apocalypse version? Of what? This game? Or cooking simulator? Because there is an apocalypse version of, uh, there's like a Fallout version of, um, maybe I shouldn't say Fallout, because it's not like, it's not like the game, but it's like a, the end of the world, post-apocalyptic cooking simulator that I saw. Looks pretty cool. Look at all this butter. I should probably just be putting this butter in here. That would have probably been easier because that's where it was probably going to go in the first place. I was most likely going to just put all the butter right here. So I don't know what the hell I was just doing. 
why I was being so stupid. But alas, I am an idiot, so idiots do idiot things. Tis the nature of the world. Kobe. Oh, that was probably inappropriate. Oh. Is that is that right to say anymore? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Where's my butter? Give me my butter back. Where'd it go? Nagmabit. Oh, man. I lost my butter. I gotta learn this back room. I started putting shit back here and I just don't even... I don't remember because I'm not putting stuff back here a lot. This is one of the consequences of the mod. Like, you get used to your workers coming back here so much that you forget. The consequences of promotion. I forgot what it's like to be a... be one of the little guys. Now everybody's looking at me like, man, you changed, bruh. You ain't how you used to be. Let's get rid of all these little boxes. I try not to let boxes pile up. I know I don't have to, like, meticulously go through that, but... gonna have one whole thing for yogurt and we're gonna have well the white yogurt and one whole thing for the pink yogurt this white yogurt looks like plain Greek yogurt not a fan not a fan at all although I see a lot of like health channels using Greek yogurt as like a substitution for like stuff when they're like making bread, they'll they'll just use like yogurt as the the wet component, which I mean, it seems like it works. So I'm not gonna say anything about its legitimacy because everything they try to make seems to come out. So I don't know. I know what kind of magic they're working to make that happen, but. It seems to be functioning, so. Who am I to judge except me? Oh, crap. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Okay. Yeah, I do see a lot of people using Greek yogurt and chicken. Uh, stuff. Which I've never even considered doing. Once again, though, no shade. Like, I'm not talking trash about it. I just never even... Never even thought to do it. Okay, so I know... Well, I'm pretty sure we have... Yeah, we do. Okay. Still got a little bit of product back there. Adds a nice zing and cuts the spice a bit. I don't know if I want the zing. I think I've heard people say that a couple times. Like, oh, the yogurt adds a zing to the chicken. I don't want no fucking zing in my chicken. Like, what... Not, at least not the kind of zing that sounds like you're talking about. Oh. Uh, 
Okay, all these are full. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and take this back. We got two of those. I don't think. Well, this should be should be enough. All right, and there's six in here. Six, yeah. Uh, not quite enough, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, okay, so. There's these. What about the cheese, though? Hold on. We got one, two, three. That's not really a cheese dish, but. What else do we have in the cooler that resembles that product specifically? Oh, here are all the other meats and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. That's going to be another one of those situations that I'm just going to have to leave alone because if I if I get into it, it's going to... No, you know what? I might be, able to, might be able to do something about this. We're definitely going to need more stuff, like coolers and stuff. So let me see. I've managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. Wait, did I count for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen? I got like thirteen of those over there. I would imagine the cutoff would probably be here. Like, I wouldn't want to go any further than probably here. So that leaves me with. One, two, three, four, probably like nine. Uh, we could put some on the back side of these, though. Roast of vegetables with marinated in Greek yogurt. I don't like the taste of Greek yogurt. It just, it has a... Whenever I eat Greek yogurt, it sends signals to my brain that I'm eating something that's expired. Like my brain, it's just like this should you shouldn't be putting this in your mouth, dude. This is not good. <laughs> and I and my and I get like I don't know, I get like a weird feeling and I'm just like I shouldn't be doing this. This is a bad idea. I don't know why. I can't think of any logical reason for it. That's just the situation. Are you, uh, are you lactose and tolerant? Hmm? Is that why you can't eat it, Cynic? I know a few people who are lactose and tolerant. It's not a great thing. I'm so glad I'm not allergic to anything. Oh my god. I could not imagine how shitty life would be if I was allergic to like any foods that I enjoy. Like anything. Take anything that I enjoy food wise. And I'm just like, my life would be over. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Couldn't handle it. Marinated goat's belly. Nah, man. Give me some pork belly. I finally got my hands on some pork belly and got a chance to cook it and do some stuff with it, man. That shit was great. I want to make chicharron again. That shit was delicious. 
but this time I want to actually do it with homemade guacamole. I didn't eat it with anything before. I just made it and just ate it. And then I want to make some more char siu. That was delicious. With my ramen. It would be very shitty if you were lactose intolerant. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you want to you want to be literal about it then yeah, it would probably be quite quite shitty indeed. Do I got cheese in the back? We got that cheese in the back. Hmm? 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 Where that cheese at? We got that cheese. We got this cheese. We got them cheeses. This is Where are the rest of the cheese at? I don't want to feel like I'm going to have to like redo back here, but I do need to like figure out where the fuck things are. Because <laughs> I seem to have just been very liberal with just kind of putting shit anywhere. I mean, there is a bit of a system going on here, but... Huh. Wait, is that... Oh, yeah. Wait, what the... Okay. Yeah, these guys, they just be coming back here doing whatever, man. If you're lactose intolerant, stay away from Hawaiian food. Hawaiian food has a lot of dairy. Does coconut milk count as, as a, uh, as um, something that you can't drink if you're lactose intolerant? I'm I'm pretty sure the answer to that is probably no, but I thought I'd ask anyway. <laughs> There we go. Um, wait, what? See, like all the all these numbers are wrong. Ever since I download, I re-downloaded that uh that night night shift uh mod, and it's fucking up my store numbers, man. Like none of these numbers are correct. It says I have zero of all these in the store, and we know that ain't true. Don't chug a whole carton of oat milk. I feel like that's advice you don't need. You know? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just feel like there are some things you don't need to be told. And I feel like that's one of them. I think, uh... I don't know, man. Maybe... Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but I... I genuinely feel like... There are some disclaimers that aren't necessary. It was gonna expire, so I drunk it all and... That's even a... Okay, so... That's that's actually a worse reason to do it than just you will really like oat milk. Like, if you just really like oat milk, then I'd be like, oh, okay, well, you know, don't do that. But it's a it was about to expire, so I chugged it. That sounds like more incentive not to chug it. <laughs> it's, it seems like that should have been a a flag of the the most crimson, uh, I would assume. But you know what? The only reason I can confidently say that is because I've actually had food poisoning due to dairy products, and it was fucking miserable. So if anything I have in my house is even remotely close to expiration, it's gone. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. If it's within 24 hours, nope, not doing it. My wife's like, I'll drink it. I'm like, you go ahead, but not me. No, ma'am.
I don't like the waste. That's fine. That's totally fine. But, food for thought. If you throw whatever you eat back up because it made you sick, technically you still wasted it. So, just throwing that out there. <laughs> so, uh... Dude, where the hell is this other cheese at? They're telling me I got some back here. I think I keep forgetting what I'm looking for when I come out here. I'm not good at multitasking. Uh, eggs, eggs. What the fuck? Okay, let me go look at this one more time because my brain is really not... This is this, this Parma, Parma, Parmigiano. Do I have some? Yeah, I, I say I got some. So where the fudge is it? Where did I put it? Oh yeah, I know some people who do that when they're when their milk's about to go bad, they make cheese. I've actually made cheese that way due to culinary school. It's pretty fun, actually. That was one of the more enjoyable things I did that I got to learn how to do that I've never done before. Yo, this back room is about to give me a full-on panic attack. Like, what? Like, genuinely, there is no... Or at least there seems to be no spot for this cheese. Am I, like, losing my freaking mind here? Has somebody else seen it and just, like, not told me? It, there's definitely a spot back here for it. I just can't for the life of me figure out where it is. I, I swear to God, I looked everywhere. Oh, no, here it's right here. Why is it here? This is such a weird spot. Okay. Anyway, now that I've looked like a freaking blind idiot for. Okay, well, there you go. It was apparently there. Don't know why that was there. It's a terrible spot for that, but you know what? It is what it is. No problem, no problem. We good. Uh. Okay. So this meat situation, right? This meat situation needs to be different. But what am I going to do about it? Hmm. What are we going to do? Well, we do have this cooler here that's empty. We could utilize this for various purposes. So this is going to bug me because we don't have another one of these type of items. We only got three of these. So that's just going to be like off for the sake of being off. And it's going to bother me because I'm a crazy person. What's this? This is ground beef. This is grounded beef. Yeah, you probably won't need to keep backstock of any of the meats. I also made butter before. Like, I had to make homemade butter. And then I, I made some, uh, I roasted some garlic and mixed it in with some herbs and stuff and made my own, like, Roasted garlic and herb butter. It was, oh, oh, it was so good. Because that was the same day that my wife 
baked some bread because she was testing out her baking prowess. And she's like, I've always wanted to bake bread. So I'm like, all right, well, you bake the bread and I'll make the butter. And we did that and it was, it was absolutely worth it. Why would you ground beef? What did it do to get grounded? Uh, it had a low grade. So we had to ground it because low grade beef is not good enough to be steaks. See what I did there? I made it work somehow. I'm a comedic genius, says the most unfunny people imaginable. <laughs> Right, uh Ooh, do I Oh, that's gonna fucking bug me. I don't care. It's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. It is not that big a deal. It is not that big a deal. Right? It's not that big a deal. It doesn't have to bug you because it's not a problem. Why would it bug you? There's no reason for you to be bugged. There's no problem to be had. Everything is fine. Uh, just booted my version up and I saw that you were live. Oh, nice. How are you liking the game, random? Because I don't think you haven't uh, you haven't installed any mods, have you? Let's go ahead and just move these over. Start getting these in place. We're gonna need another cooler. Refrigerator. Oh, actually, well. I could like I could do a like a thing where I leave like an opening in the middle where it's like you can go either way so this whole back area can be like that uh know what I'm saying uh let's No, we're not gonna we're not gonna be messing with that. Except issues with empty boxes. Oh, okay, gotcha. I think our biggest issue is just gonna be trying to make sure these are aligned properly from this point. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Excuse me. No oh, good. Still got a little bit of a cough from being sick. Not super thrilled about that. But it is what it is. I hate being sick, man. And I always get sick at the worst times, like the most inconvenient times ever. It sucks. They really need a grid system. That was one thing I actually suggested when I was uh, initially talking about stuff I wanted to see in this game. I think this game could heavily benefit. And it should be optional. I think you should be able to turn it on and off. I don't think that a mandatory grid system is the solution. I think it's a, a setting that should be in the game where you can set up a grid system. Like you can toggle it on and off depending on how you want to place items. Just like, um, like Ark did with their new building mechanics. 
I know Ark's never a good example to bring up when it comes to good design for things, but their building system is pretty decent, uh, despite the, you know, the obvious fact that that game is a clusterfuck. It cannot be understated. <clears throat> All right, these beers, I guess we'll just have to put them here. <clears throat> so if you guys are wondering why I'm putting the beers inside of the cases like this, it's because I am a lazy sack of shit and, uh, I want all those slots to be full, so that way when the restockers come back in and they start working, they'll know where everything goes, and I don't have to do it, so. Should have did that for these meats, too, because, yeah. Okay. Oh, what else we got? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Chopo, chopo. Here we go. It doesn't even need to snap to the grid. Just having the guide marks would be nice. Uh, I think a snap feature would be helpful, though. <clears throat> I think it would be helpful if it did snap. Because it's not, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not super amazing with a mouse and keyboard as far as like steady hand and stuff like that so i always feel like it's a little difficult to get things to go exactly where you want to but i think the security of things snapping would be nice because you're like i know for a fact this is going where i want it to be like it's it's absolutely working as intended I'm just saying that because I kind of suck at doing it properly. Yeah, exactly. It should be, uh, your store is getting kind of crowded. It almost looks like a Takamura market. By the way, they made excellent potato and mac salad and teriyaki. Dude, I haven't had a really good potato salad or macaroni salad in a while, man. I think, I don't know, like, growing up, <clears throat> I always had this weird kind of misconception with food where, like, there's certain foods that you're allowed to eat at certain times, and there's, like, a, you gotta, like, adhere to that, you know? So it's, like, there's only certain foods you can eat on Thanksgiving or Christmas or holidays, and that's it. Like, that's the only time you can eat it. Otherwise, you can't eat it. Like, it's just not available for you to have for the rest of the year. And when I actually stopped to think about that for a while, I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, who? Why did they raise us like that? Because, I mean, it's not like somebody said specifically, you're not allowed to eat these foods. Unless it's on this day. But the only time you ever do is when it's on those days. So it's kind of inevitable that you would come to the conclusion like yeah you don't you don't eat that unless this is happening and um i want to break out of it like I, i've been trying to like shift that a little bit because it just feels weird to be kind of stuck in that mindset because there's so many good things that i really enjoy to eat but I'm just like, oh, can't eat that because it's not Christmas or whatever. It's like, you could. You could eat it whenever you want. <laughs> you can make it whenever you want. You don't have to wait. And now that I'm a chef, you know what I mean? I'm like, that's even, even more incentive to just make it whenever I want to. But 
I mean, and that could be it too. Like for for traditional stuff and cultural stuff, that I get. But stuff like macaroni salad, it's like you can have a fucking macaroni salad whenever the hell you want. Like it's just like why does it have to be a holiday to have a macaroni salad? You can make that on a fucking random Tuesday. Just something I was thinking about. Alright, so... I love stuffing with grape. Dude, I love... Like... So, okay, here's a... <laughs> Alright, I don't know if I should open up this can of worms, but I think I'm gonna, just for the sake of conversation. So, me and my wife have been having a, a little debate every year on Thanksgiving... And it's one of those insignificant kind of, this doesn't matter at all, but it's still fun to talk about. But I just want to get everybody's general opinion. So do you guys think there's a difference between stuffing and dressing? Because I know those those statements are interchangeable. Like some people say like, oh, I want stuffing, but they're talking about dressing or st like it, it they're all talking about the same thing but some people call it stuffing and some people call it dressing i'm just curious what everybody else's kind of viewpoint on this is because to me there is a difference and there is a definitive difference between stuffing and dressing and you can't just call them the same thing because i'm going to be expecting one thing so if you tell me you got stuffing i'm going to be looking for stuffing and if you tell me you got dressing I'm going to be looking for dressing. So, I'm just like, I wonder if anybody else kind of, I guess it depends on where you're from. Well, let me just give you my viewpoint then. My viewpoint is stuffing is what you, it's, it's, it's called stuffing because you use it to stuff the turkey. Like you put it inside of the turkey and then you, you, you know, you serve it like that and you eat it. They get it out of the turkey. That's stuffing. And it's dressing when you make it stand alone. Like there is no turkey involved. You just make it in its own pan by itself. And that's how I've always seen it. Like that's how, that's how it's always made sense to me. So they're like, I got stuffing. And I'm like, okay, well, you got the stuff like it's in the turkey it's stuffed in something at least that's why it's called stuffing and dressing is the other thing <laughs> and my wife was just like bro like it's all the same stuff and i'm like it is not the same stuff it is different don't tell me you have stuffing if you have dressing You are the expert here. I'm not, though. <laughs> I'm in I'm in Jersey and dressing is gravy. Yeah, dre see, yeah, dressing is on the side. So. All right. Now, now we're getting into a whole nother. <laughs> we're getting into a whole nother territory now because. That's interesting. <laughs> Hold on, I need to focus because I, I'm gonna get really into this, and I'm gonna stop fucking doing what I'm doing right now, and we just gonna be talking about <laughs> Thanksgiving foods. <laughs> Give me one moment. I just wanna. I think I just completely changed what I was gonna do for the uh, layout of the store. So okay, so. Dressing is not like the, you guys know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about stuffing and dressing, right? Like the, the stove top stuff, or if you, if you make it homemade, comes in a little box, a little soggy bread, whatever it's, I don't know how to explain it, but like people, people interchange those. Is dressing soup? Is mayonnaise an instrument? 
Oh my god. Flavored breadcrumbs. There you go. I mean, that's that's probably pretty reductive, but uh, you know what? That works. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go with that one. That'll be our our running definition. Yeah, and like I said, I'm not like I'm not crazy about it. Like it's not like one of those things where I'm just like I'll take this to the grave, you know? It's not that deep. But to my understanding, that's kind of how I've always seen it, you know? But a lot of a lot of food conversations and debates though have always been kind of weird for me cuz a lot of them get into like it's always weird to hear people argue about preferences. Like, have full-blown arguments and fight about preferences. I'm just like, how are you going to fight somebody else about their preference? Like, how does that work? How are you arguing with somebody about something that they prefer? <laughs> I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. They're just like, I prefer things this way. And they're like, no, you can't have it that way. And it's like, but I... But I want it that like that's that's what I want though, and they're like, nope, I won't allow it. And it's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, <you> should... <laughs> like what, what, what exactly makes you think you have the authority to tell me what the fuck I can and can't have? I'm a grown ass man. But people are just like I. I won't exist in a world where people enjoy things in a way that I don't approve of. And I'm just like, well, you better fucking get a ticket to off this planet because that's basically what you're going to have to deal with for all of eternity. <laughs> like, I don't I don't know. I don't know who told you that you get to exist in a place where literally everybody will always agree with you, but they lied. They were not, uh, they were not keeping it real with you. And I see now that this is causing some turmoil for you. A few years ago, White Castle Burgers had a stuffing recipe on their box. Really? Why? Seems kind of weird. It's not my fault I'm always right. You know what? I, I hadn't considered that. Honestly. That wasn't even... I didn't even think about that. My apologies. Never factored that one in. <laughs> No, it's so weird. Like, one of the big ones is, like, steak. Like, people get real fucking asinine about steak. It's like, rather not, you should eat your steak well done or whatever. Like, however you decide to eat it. People be up in arms. Like, like ready to fight about how somebody else wants their steak. And I'm just like, bro, it's not your, you don't have to eat it. It's not your steak. It's theirs. They're going to eat it. Relax. You don't you don't have to you don't have to participate in that, man. But people get real upset about it. Nearly hit a person who criticized my using A1 sauce on steak. Well, yeah, that's another thing too. Like people will get furious because you put sauce on a steak. Now, to be fair, to be fair, we should all make fun of people who put ketchup on steak, right? I think we can all agree to that, at least. Like, to each their own, right? But, like, anybody who eats steak with ketchup should be universally shunned, I think. I feel like that's fair, at least. Ain't nothing wrong with A1. There's nothing wrong with A1. Uh but some people it's not the it's not A1, by the way. Just a just a heads up. It isn't it isn't the the type of sauce it is. 
It's the fact that they would taint the meat with any kind of sauce is what people have a problem with. Because there's a lot of meat eaters like carnivores out there who like basically just they just live on steak and potatoes or whatever. And they're just like, you should never put anything on a steak except salt and pepper. Like, that's it. Nothing else should ever go on a steak. And if you put anything on it, you don't deserve to eat it. Like, it's one of those type of situations. Ketchup on steak is nasty. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, I, I figured we'd all be on the same page there. Like, I didn't think there would be any... Uh, I didn't think there would be any... Any people going rogue on that concept. Because I just... Yeah, that's just wrong, right? Like, we can all agree that that's not right. You don't put ketchup on steak. That's just not okay. You can. You can. You're, it is, you can do whatever you want. You are free to do whatever you want. But I'm going to make fun of you if you put ketchup on steak. I'm going to say something. I can't let it go. But I always put, yeah, I always do garlic. I do salt, pepper, and garlic. That is that is my go-to steak seasoning. Because that's all you really need. Putting anything else on it, seem, it just feels weird or... You use ketchup on steak? Not cool. It's not cool. Just a heads up, by the way, if anybody thinks I'm being even remotely serious about the ketchup on steak thing, it's I it, I have no problem with that. Like, it's not a big deal. I'm just talking shit. Um, one thing that people give me shit for, and I already know, I already know you guys are going to start because we, we've been through this before. We have done this game before, and I know we're gonna go through it again. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it out there because half of you already know. But the whole milk before cereal or cereal before the milk thing. That's been a big point of contention. Uh, for a lot of people, for quite some time actually. And um, a lot of people don't like the fact that I am a. I'm on the it doesn't fucking matter what order you do it in side of that argument. So it's not like I'm on one side or the other, right? I'm on the who gives a shit. Like, just it depends on the cereal. And that's how it's always been for me. Like, that argument has always been it depends on the cereal. What type of cereal am I eating? And that will determine what order I do it. Well, I'll do milk first. If it's something like Fruity Pebbles or something like that, something that I know will go soggy really quickly, then I'll do milk first because I'm like, I'll pour it on and then I'll eat some and then I'll pour a little more on and then I'll eat it because I like those to stay crisp. I don't like them to be soggy because they're gross. They're actually disgusting when they get soggy. So I'll do milk first in that situation. But if I'm eating something that I know won't go soggy fast, then it doesn't, you know, I'll just do whatever. You know? So, like, for me, it's kind of situational. Like, I don't think that one is better than the other or one, you should do one over the other. I'm just like, wh whatever whatever works for what I'm eating at the moment. And that's been my position on the, on the cereal thing. But I've had some people like, I don't know if I can be friends with you anymore. Like, straight up, like, that. that's just, I mean, obviously, they weren't, they weren't serious, but, like, cereal before milk, I don't drown the cereal, I like it crunchy. Like I said, it really depends on what kind of cereal I'm eating. It just, it really depends, it, it almost completely comes down to what kind of cereal it is. That's like the, the major determining factor for me. Then again, though, I haven't been eating a lot of cereal lately. As much as I really want to, 
I try not to drink so much milk because my body don't always respond well to it. If that makes any sense. My body don't always be thrilled at the idea of me drinking milk. Uh, maybe I can do for this area. Hmm. Trying to figure out how I should go about this side over here. I think I kind of want it like, like around like that, but I feel like that'll leave too much kind of open area. I mean, kind of open, open space there. Hmm. I could have widened these and just put like an end cap on each one, but I think doing that would kind of, I think that would like lower the amount of actual available space that I have. You know what? Maybe. Hmm. I guess it depends on how wide I want these to be. Because most stores have like end caps on the end, right? Like that's like the thing. But it'll look weird like that. Like that's stupid. We don't want that. Uh, are end caps always half the size? Well, unfortunately, we don't have... We don't have a... That's not a thing. All the shelves are the same size, unfortunately. Later, Spoonie. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Use refrigerators? Well, I could do that. That's not a terrible idea. The problem with that might be though i don't think well you know what that could work because uh i think there's a few more licenses that i gotta get that have need for refrigerators uh licenses this is all cleaner cat food dog food that's all shelf stuff this is all well okay here we go cola we got more sodas and then I think this one down here is like alcohol. But I don't think this is refrigerator stuff, though. Hmm. Uh, well, let's see how it looks. Let's see how the refri refrigerator looks as an in cap. We'll just have a extra refrigerator. It does seem like it should like perfectly fit. Well, wait, where's the? Did I? Wait, did I not buy that? I definitely bought that, right? Didn't I? Oh shit! Wait, what? What the fuck is wood? Where? Where's my? What the fuck is happening? Why do I have? Oh, these are refrigerators. I thought these were shelves. Shit. Sorry, I had a complete fucking idiot moment just there. Okay. Boss alarm. I'm just a jackass. Yeah, that was a complete moment of stupidity on my end. I just was not paying attention to what the fuck was going on there. Yeah, that seems to fit pretty well right there, right? That looks pretty good. That's not nice, cannibal. 
I know cannibals aren't typically nice, but like, you know, just try to be. I know it's frustrating picking human meat out of your teeth all the time, but you ain't got to take it out on me. Fuck boy. <laughs> Shame there isn't a return pro what do you mean? Like you can sell you can sell stuff. If you buy like too many shelves, you can you can sell them. If that's what you meant. I don't know if that's what you meant. I don't wanna jump to conclusions, but So I think I, I might have enough shelves now to actually go through and uh, and make sure that all the items have their own spot. Because that's the end goal here. Everything needs its own spot. That be the end game. All right, so I think the cash registers are going to go over here. Now, how am I going to do this, though? There should be a way to, to shimmy all this to make it work out and look all nice and such. Do I want to? Wait, that's backwards. That's not right. be this way hmm hmm should I do the I think I should do the registers over there yeah I think the cash registers should be over here by the window I think I like that better This pleases me. There you go. You are trapped here forever. That's not right. Yeah, they don't need any wiggle room to be able to get out because they can't. So I'm not too concerned about that. That'll probably become an issue later when the dev makes it to where these people can go home and they're no longer slaves. But until then, give your workers sunburn. Come on, man. You, you really think they care? You think they're that concerned about that? They don't care about sunburn. Look at these dedicated gentlemen. That is a face of determination, perseverance. That is a man who has gone through to the ends of the earth and back. You think he worried about a little sunburn, man? How dare you disrespect this man, insult his struggle and his hustle. You should apologize quickly. He is the forgiving sort, but I'm not. Uh... Can I fit one more there? Nah, that's probably pushing it, right? Well, I could do, well, no, that's not gonna work. I'd have to buy one of the, uh, I'd have to buy the, um, the other one, the inverted one. Actually, I've never bought one of the inverted ones. Now is a good time to do it. Ta da! Do 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 Wait, uh. Yeah, here we go, here we go. And then if we do that, like that. Although, well, 
that might not work because all the customers will be lining up here, like right by the door when they're checking out here. Hmm. <sighs> I. Like, if I move these up some, like, it wouldn't look as bad, right? Like, if these are, like, here-ish. So it kind of looks like... I'm just worried about, like, all the, all the customers are going to be, like, here checking out. Which is weird, because people are going to be coming in. Maybe we'll do one of these. Maybe we'll put it here. No, that won't work either. You know what? I think we'll do... Like maybe like here somewhere? And then we'll put the computer, like, there, maybe. And then you can go back here. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm not vibing with it. Something ain't right about this. <clears throat> Give me a sec. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. I don't want to do that on stream. Okay, uh... Maybe, maybe we can do it the other way. Let's move these out of the way. If we do it this way, they'll all need to be, I'll have to get all the ones that are mirrored They'll all have to be mirrored if I'm going to put them over here. Okay, I got the money. Um, that's a little weird. Why is he still there? <laughs> he's not, he's not supposed to be there, is he? Are you okay? Ooh. Okay. No, we don't want five. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you're not supposed to be there, Chief. That's not where you're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You guys can uh, stare lovingly into each other's eyes. Sure, that won't be awkward at all. I have to give the customers a little wiggle room over here. I need to be able to see better. That one kind of goes into the wall there, but that's fine. Those spicy wings were great, but 
I don't see Cougar. You don't have to share everything. You know, there are some things actually, I think that are better if you keep to yourself, you know, because you got like this little secret that nobody else knows but you. And that makes it special. So, yeah, there's a. I think you should definitely consider like what? God damn it. Um. How do I hold up? Okay. That's not what I was meaning to do. So yeah, you can put cash registers outside now if you want. Um because I, I don't I have the restrictions taken off to That also means I could put storage racks in here now. Which actually now that I'm thinking about it, hold on. That might actually be a very phenomenal idea. Now that my brain has kind of conjured up that situation. That might not be a bad move at all. We might we might be able to do something with that. Oh yeah, no, we're not gonna be able to we're not gonna be able to fit three of those because that's gonna block the doorway and we can't have that. Alright, let's move you out of the way for now. That's not even supposed to be able to go out there, but it's fine. Okay, I'm happy with my cashier placement. Although one of my cashiers has um has decided he's not gonna he's not gonna play ball. Oh no, he's still there. Um what? Wait a minute. Excuse me? Did I just get a free? They just gave me a free? Huh? Okay. Uh, I just got a free cash register. Cool. <laughs> Fucking, I ain't gonna complain about that. Let's go. No complaints from me. Yeah, so if you have that glitch and you leave and come back, you, you get a free cash register. So, there you go. The game fucks up and you get a reward for it. No complaints here. None whatsoever. We're not going to keep this here, but I'm putting this here for the sake of getting out of my fucking way. I think this store is coming along pretty well. We need a couple more shells here. Marketo! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uh, no, we don't need any more mirrored checkouts, thank you. We're done with that chapter of our lives, at least for now. Da, 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 da. Okay, so am I going to have room for... Yeah, it should be fine. Like, that's a bit... That's a bit tight, but... Hold on. Hold on, before I even... Before we even commit... I just want to see how this is going to come out. What's up, Astro? How goes it? Okay, so that's 
Uh... Yeah, that works. That works for me. Okay, we're good. We need three more. Three more will do it. All right. We are getting this together, ladies and gentlemen. The remodel is almost complete. Well, <clears throat> yeah, the remodel is, but there's still there's still other things to do. Still need to get all of my product together, product placement and all that good stuff. I feel like this episode is just straight up just going to be called a remodel episode. Because I feel like that's all I'm going to be doing. Uh, if I push this back a bit, is that going to be too offensive? No, nah, I think it's fine. It gives a little more room over there. I think that's okay. Hmm. And then we were going to use the coolers as end caps. I don't know exactly how many we need, though. Probably not that many, to be honest. Because there's not a whole lot of refrigerator items that you're going to want to want more slots for. Probably the cheeses. I think the cheeses are the ones that have the least amount of... Well, and maybe these. So last time I was tryharding making the mods work, but nothing did well. Yeah? <clears throat> There's like a lot of things to consider when it comes to mods. I have like a pretty good computer and stuff too. So like... <clears throat> I didn't think about or consider the fact that if some people don't have, like, really optimal computers or stuff like that or whatever their situation may be, it might not be as convenient or as just kind of simple for them to get access to mods and stuff. But you only can account for so much. Are you on Windows 10? Yeah, I don't, um... I don't know why, but I, I've, I've been avoiding getting Windows 11. And when I finally caved and was just like, okay, fuck it. I'm just going to get it. Like, we're going to get it. We're going to get it over with. So I have it, and it's, it's not even a discussion anymore. Then my computer, my pretty decent, you know, pretty good computer, is just like, yeah, this computer's not compatible and I'm like, well, why the fuck not? So, like, apparently my computer's not good enough. Or, or just not just not allowed to get Windows 11 on this computer or something for some reason. I have no idea why. That's just the way it is. And I didn't care. Because, I, you know, I had been avoiding getting Windows 11 anyway. Because I heard it was kind of a clusterfuck. But I was a little offended. I'm like, bro, what do you mean? <laughs> like, excuse me? But, uh, that be the situation. So, apparently I can't get Windows 11 even if I wanted to. But. Oh, you said your PC is pretty good? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people were explaining to me, like, some of the issues and the roadblocks they were kind of hitting and i like i couldn't i couldn't really help because i'm like i don't i couldn't even imagine why you would be having those problems so if you oh god shut up All right. 
Honey, 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 honey. Honey. All right, there we go. We got honey and peanuts butter. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And the candy. These can go in here. Yes, they can. Here we go. And then these, I'm going to put next to those because these are cakes too. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, this stuff is a lot easier to move around when you have the boxes to do it. I'm able to have the stock manager mods, but the others, I don't know why they won't work. Uh, the only thing I can suggest is there are some times when you put stuff in the mods or plugin folder, it'll be in a folder instead of just the the naked DLL file. The only thing I can suggest is like take the DLL file out of the folder and just put it in the folder by itself. Because there are some mods that I have that have the folder with the name of the mod on it in the DLL file is in the folder. And then there's some mods that I have where the DLL file is not in a folder. It's just in the plugins or the mods section. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but because it seems like it makes a difference. I don't know like why or what mechanisms are in place to make that matter but I'm just throwing ideas out there um hmm so now now we've gotten to the point to where I want like specific items to all be next to each other, but I don't think I got the luxury to worry about that right now. I think I should wait and deal with that later. For now, I should just focus on getting everything its own row or I, I like area. Because if I if I go any further, I'm playing right now and the mod delivery stores and the stores management as well. Yeah, there there's um. A lot of the mods make this game much more bearable. Not that it's like unbearably, you know, like something that the game is fun, but there are some things in it that make it very tedious and not so uh, user friendly. And some of these mods have really just made the game a bit more reasonable. All right. <clears throat> Suppose have their own. We need for the flower. Okay. Right, this uses the same one, so I don't have to switch this out. Okay. And this also uses the same one, so we're good. But the stock manager is DLL though. Yeah, like if you, you'll notice if you download certain mods, they'll be in a folder and sometimes it'll just be the DLL file, you know, um, sometimes it's not in a folder. It's just the DLL file. And for those, it's safe to assume that it doesn't need to be in a folder when you put it in the mods or plugin folder, 
you can just put the DLL file in there as is, right? Like, that's a safe assumption because it wasn't in a file when you downloaded it. So it's like, okay, well, it's safe to assume that it doesn't have to be. Um, but some of the other files actually come that way. So, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I'd have to, like, I, I might do just, like, a video of, like, Here's some troubleshooting things if you're having issues with mods, because it's it's not it's not easy to explain. <laughs> it's kind of hard to try to explain without being able to give you a visuals. I think my next mod I need is a five tier shelf. I actually peeped that one out. Uh, the only downside I saw to that one is they said putting large items on the shelf is kind of funky. The only reason I'm a little apprehensive about putting that one on is because it feels like, well, I don't know. Because it's not replacing these shelves from what it said. It said that it's adding a brand new shelf to the game. So I don't. I feel like with that being said, it should be fine. But there's something I'm a little concerned about. Like, if you if you decide to remove the mod, right? Like, you take the mod off for whatever reason because you just don't want it. What's going to happen to those shelves? Like, I don't know. And that concerns me that I don't have an answer to that question. <laughs> I don't like not having an answer to that question. So I'm just like, hmm. I'm not super certain about that so yeah if you happen to uh come up with an answer for that by all means let me know yeah Astro, usually if, like, all the instructions, like, it literally tells you exactly where you're supposed to put it. Like, if you go to the instructions on the page, it, it tells you specifically and exactly where you should put it. But it doesn't tell you, like, you know, the folder in the D DLL file thing that I was talking about. If it's not working and you follow the instructions to the T, I really don't know. I don't, I, I have no idea what could be going wrong, honestly. Unless I was, like, looking at your computer myself, it'd be impossible to really tell why it's not working. <gasps> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Uh... Uh, I'm not going to hire my uh, people back. Until I'm satisfied with this situation here. Because they're going to throw a monkey wrench into my whole system and I'm going to be upset. We don't want that. This is a happy place. We love happy video game times. We don't want to be upset. All is well over here. The cereals? I guess. Well, actually, these milks. Right. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna. Damn it. Okay. Keep forgetting that that's a thing. Uh. Here we go. No? Oh, was it because I didn't pick up a food box? Should have worked. Ah, uh, that was it. Okay. All right. 
Message received game. Jeez. Okay. Fine. Uh, this rice. Ah, oh, man, this is gonna be such a... Uh, why am I doing this to myself, guys? Why? Why am I doing this to myself? I don't have to do this. This doesn't need to be done. But I have to do this. And it needs to be done. <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't... I don't have to do this. It doesn't need to be done. But I, you know, I do. And it does. I'm just so... I'm so stupidly meticulous about this, and I don't need to be. Like, there's no reason for me to be as asinine about this as I am. But it, it just can't not be. Uh, before three days, I make it to, and I need three hours to put all... See, that's what I'm saying. Which is why I use mods in the first place. Because I just don't... I don't have that kind of time on my hands. Like, I just don't. I can't be sitting here in between days spending, like, three hours trying to put shit away. Like, it's just... I don't. I don't. I don't want to do it. <laughs> like, I refuse. It's too much. It's ridiculous to have to do that. It is ridiculous, I say. This box can fit these, right? Yes, it can. Asugar. Okay. All right, here we go. We're getting somewhere. We're making progress. This is actually helpful because I have all these extra shelves. It's making this a lot more bearable because I can just move them to new shelves. I don't have to be trying to like situate them at the shelves that they're at. There we go. Yeah. There's something about this game that's just very enticing, just very relaxing. It's hard to really describe it, but despite the fact that I complain about how long stuff takes or whatever, like I, I'm not trying to rush through the game or anything like that. You know, that's not why I'm saying that stuff. It's just... I want to spend as little time doing the boring things as possible and as much time doing the fun things. Like, this whole thing that I'm doing right now, some people may look at it and be like, but this is tedious. Like, look how tedious and stupid this is. But I'm like, I enjoy this, though. Like, this is, this is actually really fun. Like, just getting all your products together and organizing and making everything look nice and neat and it's all getting its place and like this shit is fun what i don't like doing is spending five hours doing this and then back and then doing this and then going back and then doing this and then you put something over here and then you gotta go back and then you gotta do this and you gotta come back i'm just like that shit drives me insane that i don't like I hate that. <laughs> oh, I hate that so much. But putting stuff on the shelves and reorganizing and making sure everything looks nice and neat. 
I could do this for hours. Okay, so we got all the sugar in one spot, which is kind of what I was trying to do with that. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this away. We're going to put the bread over here with the other bread because bread deserves to hang out with other bread with its bread bread brethren 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 there you go I'm sure that's the proper term for it all right what we got over here we got rice we need uh oh wait that's rice uh so elbow spaghetti Ooh, this is pasta too we should bring the other pasta over there my finger hurt because i need all the time pressing oh the using sprint somebody asked me the other day like how are you moving so fast and i'm like uh sprint use the sprint button and they're like, I didn't know you could sprint in this game. I'm like, what? That's weird. I thought that was just like, I mean, no matter what game I play, if you have the ability to sprint or not, it's kind of irrelevant because I always just push shift to begin with, where it's just like, I mean, if I can't shift, I'm going to find out. Or if I can't sprint, I'm going to find out because... I'm going to press shift uh, um, instinctively anyway. I think you run fast enough in this game. I don't think you really need to move any quicker. I think it'd be overkill to go any faster than this, to be honest. I like the uh, I like the speed that they give you. I think it's reasonable enough. Potatoes, potatoes. Was there more sugar? There was more sugar over here, right? Yeah, this is the new sugar that I got. This that cane sugar. What you know about that cane sugar? Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. All right. Yes, this is coming together quite nicely. I'm going to watch your Smart Pocket Boxes video. You want tedious? I'm farming in an MMO. Yeah, that's that's pretty tedious. What MMO are you playing? I'm actually gonna renew my subscription to Final Fantasy XIV uh, in a couple months here because Dawn Trail is coming out, baby, and I'm excited for that. I'm always pumped for new Final Fantasy expansions. I won't be like streaming it or anything because I know nobody will watch it, but I will be playing in my own time. I have tried to do Final Fantasy on this channel several times and my audience has made it very clear they don't give a single crap about it. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this on my own. <laughs> We're going to put the potato chips over here by the potatoes. There we go. Do, 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 do. 
I actually joined the Discord too, but I refuse to download Discord on my computer because it makes me very angry. I get unreasonably angry whenever I have to use Discord. And I don't want to wish that on anybody. Nobody should have to deal with the anger that I put out into the world every time I have to deal with Discord. Uh, ooh, yeah, okay. I was gonna put the chips over here by the other chips. I do really want to mess around with the uh, with the the mod that allows you to change the texture on the products. So I can put, make my own products. I think that would be really cool. Like I said, if we ever get like memberships or like members and stuff over here, like people who subscribe uh, for the membership and stuff, then I will like go through. Because there's a ton, there's a shit ton of food in this game. So there's plenty of uh, foods that I can name after people in this game. So I think, I thought that would be fun. Where it's just like, if you're a member sh a member and you support the channel, I'll custom make a food that I can put on the shelf for you. And then we can pretend like you're getting royalties from it and you can become rich alongside me and my empire. Wouldn't that be great? Everybody loves imaginary money. Hooray. Oh, shit. I got all this stuff over here. Uh, oh, actually. Most of these shelves are full of items that already exist on other shelves. Like this one, for example. Yeah, this will make my life a little easier. Because most of these items... Share the same box size. Like this bread, for example. Uh, there we go. And then these. Oh, did I get the orange one? Yes, I did. It's over here. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. There we go. I'm playing Helldivers 2. I still have not played that game. And I probably won't. And honestly, after after all this time, it's probably not going to happen. But um, it does look really fun. Like People seem to look like they're having a really good time with it. But I got Dragon's Dogma 2. I got this game to worry about. Final Fantasy XIV is about to come out with an expansion. And then after I get done with that, probably very soon after, it's going to be uh, Monster Hunter Wild. So I'm pretty much booked for the year. And probably the year after, to be honest. Steve, you talking about this game? They just uh, they just recently did an update, so it might be a little while before we get another one. But that's cool, because the updates that we have been getting have been really good. Uh, actually, we're going to do this. Only real issue other than crashes I have with Hell Divers is oh yeah. I can see that. I hear friendly fire is a uh is a, not an option in that game. It is it is a, a reality. And that's about it.
Damn it. I've heard a lot of horror stories about friendly fire in that game. oil here. Oh wait, I needed that. And this oil can be properly distributed on that shelf. So now those have their own shelves. We're getting there guys, we're almost there. We're, we're like so close I can taste it and it tastes like victory and progress and tedium uh, so toilet paper is already kind of dominating that area we don't know what's gonna go here yet so we're gonna take these tags off any any shelf that isn't occupied oh we still got to do the cereal over here Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what... Okay. That makes sense. I was wondering why this was an empty space here. And that makes sense now. Now we know. We're back on track now. Worry not. The situation will be fixed. Here we go. Yeah, and now we'll be able to move the cereals to where they have their own spots. And this is coming along very nicely. Uh, I don't need you anymore, little box. Be gone from my sight. Chocolate. Go. And these just need to be cool. Okay. Good. All right. Good. 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 Great. Wonderful. Now, chotomate. Hold on. No, nope, we're fine. We're good. Uh, we're good. Uh, I had a moment there where I thought I might have screwed up. But we're fine for now, I think. Yeah, these need to go up there. You're in the wrong spot, Elbow Macaroni. You need to be over here with your macaroni brethren. You too, Spaghetti. This ain't no game. Alright. Now that that crisis is averted. Uh, there should be something that goes here. We don't know what it is, though, so we're going to get rid of that for now. This aisle looks good, although I need to fix this because this is going to be a problem if I don't. Okay, good. Those are fixed. And I am happy. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Let's get rid of these because we don't know what's going here. But when we find out, we're going to put something there. Uh, we got our ketchup and our mustard. Actually, no, there is no mustard in this game. 
I thought this was mustard, but it's actually mayo. Which is strange, to be honest. Oh, God, we got all these cleaning products, too. No, we're running out of space. Hmm. We're going to need more shelves. Oh, no. I thought I might have had more than enough shelves, but it looked like we came a little short. Uh, hold on. Let me think about this for a second. I guess I can... Yeah, okay, we could... Wait, where's the... Where's the hand soap at? Oh, it's over here. Oh, I see. Okay, so this... This shouldn't be, first off. Ah, crap. Uh, kind of glad that random box was there. Okay, so yeah, those don't belong there. What the fuck? Where'd this come from? Oh, I never even... Oh, I never even did this aisle. I knew there was a pasta missing. We've solved the mystery, guys. We solved the mystery of the lost pasta. We found it, boys. Everybody can turn off your panic lights. The crisis has been averted yet again. We are problem solvers over here. We make solutions. Uh... Okay, those are fine. This box is not correct. Let's get rid of that one. We need this. Okay, that's fine. Ah, yeah, crap. All right, let's. There's gonna be boxes laying all around here for a while, but we'll work it out. It'll all work itself out. All right. Get rid of all these excess boxes. They don't need to be here. All right, okay. So we might be we might be okay actually maybe potentially this is a little ridiculous what i'm doing by the way i'm sure people probably could tell that i am actually probably making this much harder than it needs to be but at the end of the day, ultimately, there is a method to the madness. Kind of, sort of. Okay. These should use the same size boxes. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna mix it up a little bit. I should have probably did this with a bunch of other stuff, but because it's okay to have stuff like that, right? These books, though, I'm not gonna be able to put individual shelves for these books yet, even though I kind of need to, because these books actually sell pretty good. Like when you unlock books in this game, they start flying off the shelves, man. The books sell pretty well. I think I might just have to wait to pay for another expansion, man. I think that's my only chance, really, because, like, 
I don't have an I don't have enough room to put more shelves in here unless I want this store to be like a maze. Like I could probably put one more set like right here, but that would like mess up the whole flow of the store. Like you gotta like nah, that's not cool. We can't do that, that's not cool. Um Yeah, that's it. We have we have maximized the use of the well not really maximized. I could probably do a whole bunch to make much more room here, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, I could probably make much more room here, but I think what I've done thus far might actually be overkill. So I feel like we have done a pretty decent enough job kind of getting everything separated and into its own little area. I think for the most part, everything basically has its own shelf. The only things that have been excluded is the books. Like, that's it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different books. Hmm. I wonder... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, maybe I can see the books back here. I think I got a back stock of all the books. All these use the same box, so. Yeah, that that works. All right, cool. So at least they have they each have one more slot a piece. That's fine. I'm happy with that. So now we just got to double check our coolers and make sure everything is fine here and we should be good. We got beef. We I think we're missing the lamb. I don't think we have the lamb anywhere. Hold on, let me get rid of this box real quick. If Satsu's organized and we're all in trouble, man, I've been doing this for two and a half hours now. Don't you worry your pretty little head about my organizing. It's all going according to plan. Everything is happening as intended. All is well. There's no problems here. Everything is just fine. Perfect, even. Some would even say flawless. Some would, at least. I think like one or two people might say flawless. Uh... So yeah, that's like the only thing we're missing is the lamb. Where's my trusty computer? Hello, computer. I need... We need lamb. Or is it veal? I think it might be. Wait, I don't think it's either, actually. Where is it? Ham? No, it's further up. It's veal! Okay. I probably shouldn't be buying this because I have it in the back. Yeah, I was right. Uh, but where is it? Doste. Where is veal? Up here, perhaps? Uh, yeah, there we are. There it is. 
The veal has been located, guys. Everybody calm down. We found it. Don't worry. <coughs> Excuse me. Galithian! How art thou? Is that right down there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now, for these. Wait a minute. How did that happen? That wasn't all of them? Why wasn't that all of them? Okay. Okay. All right. I think everything has been stocked. Everything should be fine now. Let's save it, just in case something catastrophic happens. Doing okay, man? Have you been sick? Yes, I have. I have been sick, and I am still a little bit under the weather right now, but I have been recovering. So all is well for the moment. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, this is a problem. Yeah, that 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 night shift uh, mod really messes things up here. It screws up the night shift mod. Screws up the uh, the mod that la allows you to see your stuff in here. Pollens? No, I actually had a fever. Like I was actually sick for a couple days. But my sinuses are always fucked up, so I live in Ohio, so that is what it is. Oh, I missed the raid. Thank you, Kyle, for the raid. You get bored with Dragon's Dogma 2 already? I didn't. Actually, I'm still... I, actually, I've been playing Dragon's Dogma 2 basically all day. Because this was one of those days where my wife is like, you have to sit downstairs with me. So I was downstairs with her playing... Dragon's Dog, I'm on my Steam Deck. She likes to have me in the room so she can absorb my energy. She's like, you don't have to do anything. I just need you, like, in this area so I can absorb all of your love and affection. And I'm just like, cool. Fine by me. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, baby. Alright, we can hire our stock uh restockers back and they're gonna be busy boys for a while mm. they got a lot of work to do yep they got right to it so we're gonna let them do their thing for a second here While they do that, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be back.
Okay, I have returned, and it looks like I returned just in time. Because they just finished, so... Really? I guess this one would be full, wouldn't it? Okay. <clears throat> okay, looks like they did a good job at, uh... Stocking up on stuff that we were. Alright, so now I can go to my computer. And what I'm going to have to do, unfortunately, now is we're really going to have to stick to the idea that if this number is zero, then we buy. And if it's not zero, then we don't. So that's going to be the theme here. Because this first number, I can't trust it anymore. Because the two mods are interfering with each other and it's broken. So this number in front here is not, it's not telling me the truth. The numbers that are revealed there are not the numbers that, uh, it's not the reality of the situation. So the first number is broken because of the, uh, the night shift mod. <clears throat> All right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm gonna try to try my best to just stick to the stuff that says zero. It's very hard to stick to that rule all the time because you just want to you want to still be preemptive but what two mods are conflicting the night shift mod and the uh the mod that lets you see what's in the store the um this i, I forget i always forget what this one's called um hold on what is that one called? Stock manager. The stock manager and the night shift mod. They're they're not playing nice together. We got cake and the candy. Cake and candy. Okay, cereal. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's just messing with the numbers. And the reason that that's happening is because the way this mod is supposed to work is it goes in and it calculates and it shows what's on the shelves and what's not based on what your workers are doing. They put stuff on the shelves, they take them off, and it's counting those things individually. But when you use the night shift mod and you, you end the night, all of your shelves are automatically full the next day. Like, it, that's what it does. It, it makes them complete their job overnight to where you don't have to wait for it. And that screws with the numbers because the, the actual counting method that this mod uses is disrupted because they're not actually physically putting them on the shelves so it's like broken uh so yeah that's the that's the deal with that so like now i kind of just have to resort to looking at the second number exclusively to determine what i need to buy and what i don't Which, honestly, if you're doing it, if you're playing the way that I'm playing anyway, that's what you should be doing regardless. So. It's not that big a deal to me, which is why I'm not gonna take off the mod. But it is still kind of annoying <laughs> to deal with. I think um I think the person who made the night shift mod uh commented on one of my videos and I think I told him about it. And he said he was gonna look into it. Or they said they were gonna look into it. I don't 
I don't know if it's a he or she, but... Yeah, they showed up on one of my videos and was like, I'm glad you like the Night Shift mod. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's great. But... <laughs> Ooh, I almost bought way too much veal. See, I gotta pay attention to this because some of these numbers, I need to go in and make sure I switch everything to one. Because this is going to be a problem. Alright, let's see. We got boxes out here? We do. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, well, hold on. We might, there might only be boxes out here because these guys are working on it. I also forgot too, like if you're gonna, if you're gonna do the mod that auto stores things in the back, one of the, one of the glitches, well, maybe not a glitch, but one of the issues is if your, if your restockers are currently working on that item, it won't allow the item to go in the back even if it can because there's that whole uh stalkers occupied with this item thing that happens so you either want to wait until your restockers are finished or actually the better idea uh karen thank you for the fi uh thank you for the sub or you want to fire them and do it while they're not working because even if let's just say even if they are um not currently working on things and they're standing here as soon as you click the button and the boxes come in they could start working on it and it'll stop the stuff from going back there so now i gotta wait until they finish before i can see what can actually go back there and i'm sure all this stuff can but this is a this is a little bit of an issue but this is the these are the trials and tribulations of playing with mods these are the consequences Things aren't always going to work out how you want them to or how you expect them to because you are playing the game in an un unintended way. So I don't complain because, you know, I'm not playing the game as I should be anyway. I will complain about stuff that happens in a vanilla game, though. <laughs> the first number is the shelves in the store, right? Yes, that is correct. Okay, so now that they're done, right, these boxes, some of these boxes should be able to go on the shelf now. Yeah, so see, now they're going because they're, nobody's actively working on anything. That one's actually full. See, like all these were supposed to be able to go back there in the first place because I bought them knowing that there was space for them back there. But because they started working on them when I did that, it it made everything all fucky. So just be mindful of that because it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay. Uh. We're going to actually move these completely out of the way because this is where the bo boxes spawn in and I don't want no drama. All right. So let's go back over to our pewter and see. We are completely out of beer, so we're going to get those. I'm already breaking my rules already. I'm not supposed to be doing anything that doesn't say zero. Okay, uh, pizza. I do think I should have got more freezers for certain stuff, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We don't need more yogurt. Clotted cream? I feel like that's not the right word for that. Clotted? I don't want to eat anything that says clotted. 
Am I alone there? Like, is that, is that, does that just seem like an unattractive word? Like, if somebody's like, you want some clotted cheese? And I'm like, uh, no. Like, fuck no. No, thank you. I don't want no clotted anything. That is not a nice word. No, thank you. You can keep your clotted shit to yourself. I thought that said cottage cheese the whole time. Like this whole time, I thought that said cottage cheese. I had no idea that shit said clotted. <laughs> that's that's not great to hear. Uh, let's see, I'm so hard headed. I just told you guys what I was supposed to be doing. Like, only if it has a zero, but I'm so fucking hard-headed. I just can't... I can't even follow my own rules. Alright, we're gonna finally open this damn store. Alright. It's been long enough. All the customers have been losing their minds. Like, what the heck, man? I could probably afford to put a freezer here, another freezer here. I should have, well, you know what? I wonder if I put these freezers like on the end of the, nah, nah, they're not going to have enough room. Hmm. Yeah, that'll just be awkward. Welcome to the store, everybody. I know the layout is a little bit different. I know you're not used to this, but hopefully you guys can find everything okay. Be sure to ask any questions if you need it. I am the owner here. Nice lower back tattoo. You think I see that, girl? I see you over there. You wore that shirt for a reason. Clotted is British food. You know what that does? That does, that does sound like... <laughs> It does absolutely sound like a... Is it working for you now, Astro? I hope it is, because you've been going at this for a while, and I'm feeling bad that you couldn't figure it out. So I'm hoping that it's finally working for you. Oh, shit. I thought this dude had, like, a long biker beard. No, that's just his neck. <laughs> That's funny. I swear I thought that dude had a big old biker beard, but no, he's just got a weird neck situation going on. I like the look of this store, though. Like, I think it looks nice. I feel like this works. I'm not good at, like, interior design. Like, I don't really know how to, like... I always see other people's designs, and I immediately feel like, man, I suck. Because <laughs> I'm just not good at this shit. I can't visualize... I can't pre-visualize something and then put it together. Like, everything that I do is on the fly. Because I can't, like, I can't... My brain can't paint pictures like that. Yeah, that's a big one too, Kay. Um, that's a bit of a big one. Although, there the mod, one of the mods that I have installed makes it to where you can actually like fill boxes that are not full, if that makes any sense. So, for example, like this situation right here. You see how there's one, two, four, and four? I can take this one and mix it with this two. And now, like, I put that in that box. So there's nothing in this box anymore. Like, it's empty. Because I put it in that box. So now that space is free. The only problem is, though, you have to do that yourself. Like, you can't, they won't do it. 
because they're idiots. So there's the the my I forgot what it's called. Um, hold on, I can actually look. Uh, where is it? I think it's the delivery organizer. I think that's it. I think it's delivery organizer. And the main thing that it does is stack the boxes up here neatly. And that's what I, that was the only thing I thought it did. But apparently one of the side effects is you can one of the like in order to organize it it does that. So like this too like I don't I don't know if this is supposed to have 11. Oh, these boxes can fit twelve. Okay, never mind. False alarm. I did. I I didn't know those boxes could actually fit twelve. Like the setup, I just extended my store to not as big as yours yet. I'm only level thirty four. I, I got you. Yeah, I um. To be honest, if if I would have installed some of the more helpful mods and stuff earlier, I would I would be way further. Like, my store would be way bigger and I'd have way more products. But I spent a whole lot of time just trying to, like, work things out and figure stuff out. And I was, like, running on a treadmill through most of the days. And there would be days where it seemed like I made almost no money. Because uh, I just didn't know what I was doing. And uh, before they added the customer thing where you get more customers so but yeah if i had that from the beginning and also too one of these days i'm gonna do a stream starting a brand new game because i uh, i know how to i know how to set up multiple game saves on this now so i'm gonna set up we're gonna do a stream with a blank slate brand new game and just see how all the new mods and stuff and the new changes kind of help my progress Oh, I, I just remembered I forgot to put lights back here. I should probably just organize all these lights I have in here better, but that sounds like something really boring, so I'm not going to do that. We're going to take the easy road and just buy a bunch more lights because I like wasting money. I think eight should be enough. Wait, what? Okay. I did it just in time because we were just about to close. Let's grab some lights. Let us illuminate your life. No more darkness. That didn't seem like it did much. <laughs> didn't feel like it did all that much, but you know what? It is what it is. We ain't complaining. We need a bigger storage room next. If they're going to do anything or make any changes, they definitely need to make the storage room bigger. Because that's one of the biggest issues I'm having right now is just like room in the storage area. I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little nervous about getting any more product for that reason alone. I don't have a lot of room in my storage area for new stuff. It's got to be a little bit of a issue trying to get that situation together. There is a mod to make the storage room bigger, but I'm, I'm a little reluctant to use it, to be honest. I don't even actually have a reason for that either. Like, by the way I said that, you'd think I'd have some kind of elaborate explanation as to why I feel that way, but I don't. Oh, the, um, yeah, the fluorescent tubes or whatever. Yeah, I think that would be cool. I think that would actually be better than all these little lights like this. You should have options for lighting. Like if we're, uh, but to be honest, 
if we if we go back and look at the list of stuff that they said they were going to be adding to the game, they said like they were adding more furniture and stuff to personalize your store. So we got to remember, guys, this game is still in pretty early access. Um, and from what I've heard, there's literally just one dev working on this game. So as as excited as I am about the prospect of them like releasing content and stuff for this game as quickly as possible. They only can do so much. But I am absolutely looking forward to them. Uh, to seeing where this game goes. Alright, 103 customers. Look, our total profit is... Negative $67,000. <laughs> we had a good day, guys. We did so good. My accountant's gonna flip. <laughs> the struggle. Hold on, let me pay my bills real quick. Pay off these loans like a responsible and respectable adult. Oh, wait, before I do anything, before I start buying shit, Okay, I had to make sure I did that before I started buying stuff because that gets me every time. What was the last thing we did? The eggs? Okay. Flour, olive oil. We got rice. One, two, three, four. Pasta. Orange juice. Soda. Oh, wait. I didn't need that, but that's fine. Uh, cakes, chocolate, yogurt, toilet paper, honey, uh, pasta, crab stick, sushi, Hot sauce. Uh, mm. I'm just going to do one for the ones that I like. I'm, I'm trying to behave myself and not screw this up. That one has one, though. That's fair. It's not a zero, but it is a one. I think that's fair. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. So, um, so here's the thing. <laughs> I don't know if I should do this because... Well, there's a couple reasons why I probably shouldn't think about doing what I'm thinking about doing. <laughs> the Lithian playing these type of games is fun because it allows me to live a lot of impossible fantasies like owning a company and making money and being. Yeah, that too. That's one. Of, that's also too because like. I have a business selling spices like spice blends or whatever. And it's all online, so, like, I don't have a storefront or anything like that, but, like, I've always 
wanted to do something like that. And um, I have a, uh, a culinary certificate. So I've always wanted to like own a restaurant. Well, not a not an actual restaurant, but just like kind of a not like a sit down restaurant, but just like a food joint. Um, and I'm actually in the process of trying to work that out, but I am not really savvy enough to do any of that stuff on my own. So I'm trying to work that stuff out, but. Being able to play a game like this and kind of live out that fantasy, even if it's, you know, just a stupid game, it's fun. Oh, you like the taco and the barbecue ones? Those are, well, the barbecue one is really nice. I like the barbecue one. The taco one I think is good too, obviously, because I made it, but uh, the spicy one is probably my favorite. Like, out of all my spice blends, the spicy one is the one I think I use the most, more than any one. But the taco one is always a good go-to if you're making anything that requires it. And the barbecue one for, for ribs and stuff. Oh, man. Uh, let's see here. All right, so they should have done. Okay, yeah, they're done. Okay, so let's put this stuff away. It's still that one's still full, and that one's still full. Do do do. What do you? What do you plan on putting in the in fridges? Oh, there's um there's there's new licenses that I have not gotten yet. And because I had already bought these fridges, I'm like, "All right, well, I'm going to just go ahead and put them there and uh, I'll put them I'll fill them with stuff when the time comes." Uh so I don't know what's going in them yet, but I know I'm going to need them, so they're just there to complete the look. So there there will be something that goes in there at some point. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the store. I probably could have made room for one more cash register here, honestly, so I can help out. Wouldn't have hurt nothing, but it's fine. Yeah, I could probably rearrange this back room, too, to make it more. To just kind of make it make it easier to. You know, fit more stuff back here. But. For now. I don't feel I'm like I've done all the rearranging that I want to do. What's the big box outside? I believe that's another cash register. Yeah, this is another cash register here. I just don't, uh, don't really have a place to put it. I could move all these cash registers closer together. And I could probably squeeze in. Because these they they don't need that much room. Like I could I could probably make it work. Even though you don't do it, I think you'd enjoy weed shop too. I think Monkey was telling me about that one. I think he said that was one he played that he liked a lot. And he did say that these games were similar. Who knows? I might check it out. I was talking about before that I was actually contemplating playing, um, playing Cooking Simulator again. But I was curious if you guys would actually be interested in seeing that. I had a lot of fun with Cooking Simulator, but the game's basically dead. Like, there's nobody really making content for it anymore. Uh, there's no mods for it, which was uh, a really telling situation there. With the fact that there was no mods for it, I'm like, oof. 
That's not a good sign. I think I think that game and this one uses the same engine though. Cause when I did go look at the page for the mods, the only thing I saw on there was something about Bepinex mod loader, and I'm just like, huh, that's interesting that it uses that same one. I thought that was something noteworthy. Did I have two spots for the hand soap? Because I see that spot there, but I feel like there might have been a spot already designated for hand soap. Or maybe that's just uh that was just the spot I picked. Let's see here. Nope, that is a zero there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, the next time I play this, I'm going to reinstall the more customers mod so I can catch back up here because I don't feel like I'm treadmilling anymore. Obviously, we are making a profit and stuff, but things are a little slower than I want them to be. Oh shit, I should probably turn the lights on first before I do that. Click. There we go. What time is it, by the way? I've been streaming for three hours. It's not too bad. I gotta do, um... Oh wait, are they stuck? Is he stuck? Oh yeah, sometimes when you use when you guys use the fast forward, you gotta be careful with it. Cause sometimes it'll it'll mess up the NPCs. Like they'll get like stuck on stuff. Level ninety and you still forget to Oh I sometimes I forget all the time. Like ninety percent of the time I forget to turn on the lights. Cause I you be so busy. By the time you finish doing all the stuff, and like I could like every after every transition, like when it when I end the night, the first thing I do is go turn on the lights. Like I could do that, sure. But I don't I don't ever fucking remember to do this shit. What do I look like a critical thinker? What mod is mod is for fat it's literally just called fast forward mod. It's it's just called the fast forward mod, and it's pretty easy to install. The instructions should be on the page when you go there, and uh, it's literally just drag and drop. You put the folder or the the file right where they tell you to put it, and you're good to go. Ooh, sorry about that. It's a little late for me. Um. New guys, anybody new here? If you're new to the channel, this is your first time watching the stream or you've seen some of my videos before, don't forget to subscribe uh, and like the stream and share and stuff like that. It helps with the algorithm and uh, helps the channel get a bit more visibility. My channel has been growing like crazy and I've been getting really nice viewership on stuff or whatever lately and it's been really cool. So... If you guys can keep up the engagement, make sure you're liking and sharing and all that stuff. Let YouTube know that I'm only slightly irrelevant and not completely irrelevant. That would be great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kay. Yeah, much appreciated, guys, because... I think I, I think I've had this channel for oof, I don't know six seven years now and obviously you know we've had some traction I got some subscribers and back in the seven days to die days we used to we used to do pretty good as far as viewership and stuff goes but 
it's been a slog for a while, so it's really nice that my channel's actually growing again off of a game that I really enjoy. <laughs> like you got it. Like a lot of people, they'll they'll play a bunch of variety of games and then their channel will blow up, but it'll blow up on a game that they can't stand or like maybe isn't like their primary game or something they really like to play. And that's such a terrible feeling because it's just like everybody's here to see this game. And this is the game that I don't really like to play. <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. Oh, thank you so much, Kay. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, it's it's been nice seeing uh, seeing the channel grow watching all the comments and stuff. I really like the comments. Cause I used to, man, back in the day, I used to, there would be a time during the day where I would just take out my phone and I would just be replying to comments like the whole day. Uh, -uh. But like once the comments and stuff dried up and I was just putting out videos, I'm like, all right, well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> We really need we really do need a faster restockers because like one of the mods that I have installed for any new people um, is better cashiers. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the cashiers are ringing up items much faster. We need that same thing for these guys. I found out today that if you have half a box and something you can click into the storage on another half box and it merges it yeah the um there's a mod that actually well actually is that are you playing vanilla did you use rdc tweaks to make them move faster no but i can't find that um i can't find that mod anymore i don't know if it's still on nexus Cause I saw, I remember seeing it before, but I don't know if it's still on Nexus. I use a few mods, but didn't think they affected it. Um, the delivery organizer mod is the mod that I believe uh allows you to do that i don't think you actually can do that under normal circumstances i think it's the delivery mod that allows that i'm not sure though i'm not certain about that i'm just i just realized that i could do it but only after i installed that mod that's the extent of my evidence at this point so if you want any more, I can't really I can't really provide that at the moment. <laughs> easy delivery, it's not that one. It's not easy delivery. It's um it's delivery organizer. Yeah, easy delivery, that's a different mod. That's the one that allows you to press a button to send stuff to the back automatically or have it auto go to the back. That's what that one is. The mod I'm talking about is the one that stacks the boxes up neatly outside. Oh, wait, I haven't finished the day out yet. Oops. Sorry about that. And Galithia was just talking about my fucking pointless walking around in circle. Uh, you know why I do that, right, Galithian? Because, like, I feel like I have to be doing so. Like, when I'm talking... Uh, so, here's a, here's a funny... Here's a funny thing. <laughs> you guys think this might be a video game thing, right? You're thinking, like, oh, this guy's a weirdo. He does this weird thing in video games where he runs around while he's talking. <laughs> When I'm on the phone, like if somebody calls me and I'm on the phone and we're having a deep conversation, like I'm having a conversation that I'm invested in or whatever, I walk around my house and I don't stop for anything. 
Like, I pace. I'll be upstairs and then downstairs and then in the basement and then the living room. Like, I just, I'm, and there was one time where my mom was like, are you, like, out of breath? And I'm like, uh, what do you mean? And she's like, you're, you're fucking pacing, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, sit the fuck down, dude. And I'm like, sorry, I just, I, for some reason, like, if I'm, if I'm talking, I have to be also doing something, too. Or I feel uncomfortable. Oh, I know you weren't complaining. I know that wasn't a complaint. But it's it's funny that you made that observation because it correlates to things that I do in real life. Which is hilarious. Because that is absolutely a problem that I have in real life. R RDC Tweaks is still on the Nexus for restocker speed. Okay, I'm going to have to check that out then. Because they are very slow. Yeah, they are a little too slow for my taste. You know what? I'm actually going to go another day, and I'm not going to buy anything. It's probably not super wise, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to open up the store. I'm not going to purchase anything, and we're just going to kind of let it go real quick. We're only going to put it on three times speed, though, because I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm going to pop over to the Nexus real quick so I can see if I can find this mod. Supermarket Simulator. It must not be a very popular mod, because whenever I go to uh, what's popular, it never shows up. That's why I always watch your POV instead of monkey. Oh, because I'm always doing something. Yeah, I'm a weirdo when it comes to things. I have a bunch of strange habits. second here also there's 30 people watching right now like I, I honestly the the past few times that i've been streaming i haven't actually really been looking at how many people are here like i don't even have that screen up to where i can see that like it, i've never i never actually have it visible but now that i'm on my browser i'm like holy shit there's actually like 30 people here that is very unusual For all-time endorsements, it's 10th on the list? Maybe I just don't know what it looks like. Because I swear to God. Hold on. Popular all-time. More customer stores expansion. Better. Oh. Here it is. Allows you to... Mod okay. I thought... Okay. See, this was my problem. I was glancing through all the mods... And I thought I knew how this looked. Like, I, I had a picture in my head what this mod looked like. And I was looking for that. But this is not what I thought it looked like before. I swear I thought this was different. Now, how does this work, by the way? Do you have to do it in-game? Like, how do you... How does it work? How do you do the tweaks, I should say? Is it like a thing you do in the files? Is it like a file uh, that you have to tweak or something like that? I wonder if I should get a new... Um, I wonder if I should get a new license. Probably not. You put it in the folder, load the game, close the game, and then edit the J... Oh, I see. I deleted the bits I didn't use. What all can you control in there? Allows you to modify different aspects of the game. Speed of the NPCs, restockers, or cash. Oh, the NPCs too? I don't know if I would want to do the NPC speed. 
Like, I don't think they really need to be faster. I think the NPCs are fine. Yeah, I'll mess around with that a little bit later. Looks like they got an update to the Better Cashiers mod. But, I mean... I haven't experienced any bugs. Like, I typically don't update mods unless... Unless there's an issue. Or unless whatever update they did specifically changes or makes something better. Like, if, if, the, if the update for a mod is, like, fix the bug, but I'm not having any issues with bugs, then I don't... I don't do it. Uh, what specs is your PC? Uh, I think I got a 2070 in my computer. And then I got like a some kind of i9 card or whatever in here. I don't even know. <laughs> I had a 3090. But I think it stopped functioning. So I had to take it out of my computer because my computer wouldn't boot up at all if I put the 3090 in it. So I don't know why or what happened with that, but. Oh, look at this. All the toilet paper is gone. That's not a surprise, actually. Makes sense. Dude, my bills are crazy high. Is that like because of all the cooler, like the freezers and stuff? Holy shit, look at my bills, man. My bills are high as hell. My rent's the same. But goddamn, these bills. They're actually working on that. The mod said that is uh, that is something that they're gonna do, and I think I think you should be able to assign the task. So like when you hire, well maybe not when you hire them, but like once they're hired, you should be able to go into the computer and assign them tasks. So if you want, like somewhere on here it should be like curbside or storeroom. You know, and you should be able to switch them to whatever you want them to do. So might maybe have one of them do curbside and the rest of them do the storeroom or something like that. And then I think instead of just making the cashiers faster and stuff, we talked about this before, but I think you should be able to uh, either, you know, buy a higher tier cashier that costs more, that you have to pay more, that goes quicker, or I think your cashiers that you buy and pay for it should level up, you know, with experience and get faster over time. And as they get faster, you pay them more. I know that's not how the real world works, because no matter how good you are at your job, they still pay you the same no matter what, which is how, well, I mean, in a lot of lower level positions and jobs and stuff. A lot of times going above and beyond is at your detriment because they're just like, oh, look at this person. He's breaking his neck, going above and beyond, going behind beyond his means and doing even more work than we even require of him. And then you're just like, oh, sweet. So I get a raise for like doing all that stuff. And they're like, fuck, no, we're going to give you more work to do. Look how amazing you are. It's like, so does that more work come with more pay? And they're like, nope, sure doesn't. Thanks for working so hard for the company. <laughs> Ooh. Four restockers won't be enough to do the... Yeah. I just love how professional the cashiers and the stockers look for what their job is. Uh, nah, I, I don't know about professional. I mean, these guys look kind of professional. Like, they're... They're probably a little overdressed for the cashier position, but these dudes look about right. I feel like that's that's reasonable restocking attire. 
But yeah, they, they might be a little bit. I think the only thing they're missing is like a bow tie. That would probably that would probably be the part that overdoes it. If you had a bow tie, you'd be overdressed. But I think they're they're the right there. Anyway, moving on. All right, let's see here. Yeah, we got a ton of ton of stuff with zeros now. I bet we do after and go in two days. I wish you could, um, I wish the person who made the mod that allows you to see what's in the stores, I mean, what's in the, on the shelves and stuff, I wish they made a sorting mechanism on here where you can just sort everything that's red or everything that's yellow, you know, that type of thing. That would actually be nice too. You get very low on stock. You, well, yeah, the only reason this happened is because I purposely went two days without buying anything for science. And as you can see, we fucked around and found out. It's not a big deal, though. Like, it could be worse. It could be worse. What did we learn for science? We learned that people really like to buy shit. We learned about capitalism today. And supply and demand. We also learned that groceries are super duper expensive. <laughs> the struggle is real. Look at my cart, bro. I'm about to spend six thousand dollars. And they still got to put all this shit away. Yeesh. The struggle is real, bro. Look at these. Look at these shelves, man. Looks like pre-COVID all over again, bro. <laughs> no toilet paper to be seen anywhere. <laughs> Just fucking... Toilet paper is gone. It's not available anymore. Sheesh. Yeah, so you think you think it's bad under other circumstances, you run out of product. Don't ever go two days without buying stuff. You run out of food so fast. The struggle is real. You know what, though? Now might be a good time for me to wrap it up, though. So uh, we'll be wrapping up here pretty soon. If you haven't subscribed or hit that like button and all that good stuff yet, please do uh, support the channel. It really, really motivates me, man. Like, I already like kind of content creation and doing this stuff. But when you guys comment and like and do all that stuff and engage, man, I'll be like... Raring to go. My wife's like, bro, you gonna leave your dungeon and come and spend time with me? And I'm just like, of course. I got you. Now, I don't neglect my wife, but <laughs> she she's a she's one of those people that needs an excessive amount of cuddles. So even if I spend four straight days with her uninterrupted, the next day she's just like, oh, you're gonna go work? And I'm like, look, man. <laughs> 
Like I gotta I gotta do work sometimes. Like jeez. Like I, I I thoroughly enjoy cuddling you, but if I don't work ever, <laughs> then it's gonna be a problem. Yep, always a pleasure. Also, guys, I'm going to probably put like a poll up or something on the channel on the community uh, tab uh, asking about Cooking Simulator. If you guys see that, make sure you participate and vote and let me know if you'd be interested in me playing that game. Because I am, I, I'm kind of curious about it. So uh, I'll put it over on the community page or the community tab over on YouTube. You should get a notification, but I don't know how that really works. But just be on the lookout for it. If you're subscribed, you should be able to see the community page. And I'll put up a little poll about Cooking Simulator. And if enough people are like, yeah, play that shit, then I'll, I might play it one day. So have a wonderful night, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you guys soon.